The DevExpress Spreadsheet Control provides the mail merge functionality that enables you to automatically generate a set of documents based on a single template and include unique data values retrieved from a data source into each document. This feature can be useful for a variety of business requirements, such as personalizing letters and composing catalogs and reports. In this video, we describe the mail merge process and show you how to use special mail merge tools provided by the spreadsheet control. We have a new WinForms application with the DevExpress ribbon form. Drop the spreadsheet control item from the DX14.1 spreadsheet toolbox tab onto the form. Invoke the spreadsheet controls actions list via the smart tag and do the following. Stretch the spreadsheet control so that it fills the entire form. Add the name box and formula bar above the spreadsheet control. Add the field list panel to the right of the spreadsheet control. Generate the file, home, formulas, and mail merge ribbon pages. Let's specify a data source for the mail merge. In our example, we'll use the Northwind database. This file ships with the extra spreadsheet suite installation. We've previously copied this database file to our project directory and include it in a project. In the Invoke Data Source Configuration Wizard, select the Dataset Database Model and the Categories table. Let's switch to code. Use the Fill method of the Categories Table Adapter object to populate the Categories Data Table table with data from the database. Finally, bind a spreadsheet document to the specified data source. To do this, set the iWorkbook.MailMerge data source property to the InWin dataset object and the iWorkbook.MailMerge data member property to the Categories string. After providing the data source, we are ready to create a mail merge template. Let's run the application. As you can see, the field list panel displays fields of the specified table. Activate the mail merge design view in the spreadsheet control. It is a specific mode for displaying worksheets intended for preparing mail merge templates. Now, insert mail merge fields to template cells. A mail merge field is a placeholder in which a value from the specified data source field will appear in a merged document. Add the category name, description, and picture fields. Mail merge fields are added to cells as special functions in cell formulas. The field function is used to merge data values of different types, such as numbers, text, date, and time values, etc. And the field picture function is used to merge images. Formulas with these functions are automatically added to cells when you drag and drop fields from the field list panel. Let's add two more parameters to the field picture function to lock a picture's original aspect ratio and specify the distance from the left border of the target range. Let's preview a merged document. As you can see, mail merge fields are filled with information retrieved from the database. Data records are placed one under another in a single sheet. The spreadsheet control also supports two more modes to merge data records into separate worksheets, multiple sheets, and into separate workbooks, multiple documents. In our example, the single sheet mode is the most appropriate. To create advanced templates, you can use special template ranges. Mark a range of cells containing mail merge fields as the detail range. In a merge document, this range will be repeated for each record of the data source. Specify a header at the top of the worksheet, fall catalog. In a merge document, it will be placed above all detail range instances. And let's preview a merge document. Note the template workbook stores these ranges as defined names for the corresponding cell ranges. Save the created mail merge template. And call the load document method to automatically open the template on form loading. 
Now let's explore how we can generate master detail reports with the spreadsheet controls mail merge functionality. Let's add the products table to the data set. The appropriate master detail relationship between the categories and products tables is automatically created in Visual Studio. Let's save the changes. And add a couple of code lines to populate the table with data from the database. And finally, let's run the application. The categories products nested table is added to the field list panel. Now let's modify our template a bit to generate a master detail report based on data from the hierarchical data source. Extend the existing detail range three rows down by dragging its bottom right corner. Specify a header with column names for detail level data. Add a nested level to the detail range to display the detail level data from the categories products child table. Let's add the product name, units in stock, and unit price data fields from the categories products table into the detail level range. The master detail template is ready, and let's see the result. A list of products is displayed for each category. Detail level ranges and associated data members are also saved as defined names in the template workbook. In addition, you can sort, filter, and group data in each detail range. For example, sort categories by name in reverse alphabetical order. Filter products and categories to merge only products whose quantity in stock is greater than 15 units. or group products by reorder levels. To do this, add the reorder level field to the template, select this field as a criterion for sorting data, and set a cell with this field as group header. In a merge document, sorted products in each category will be split into groups based on identical reorder levels. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.